Okay, let's discuss the difference between quantitative and qualitative type data. It's important to know the difference because we can do different types of data analysis with the different types of data. So it's important to be able to recognize which category your data belongs. Okay, let's start with the definitions. Quantitative type data, it consists of numbers that represent counts or measurements. All right. Qualitative type data consists of names or labels, or it can be numbers as well, but those numbers don't rep represent counts or measurements. Okay, so quantitative, it's numerical data, but it, you have to be careful that those numbers are representing a count or measurement. Qualitative type data is a category. All right, let's do some examples. So starting with age, if I were to go and collect data on age, I would you know, ask people how old they are and they would tell me a bunch of numbers like they're 21 years old, they're 35, they're 52. Those numbers, that's numerical type data, that is quantitative type data. Quantitative type data. Next, we have gender. Gender, if I were to go out and ask people what their gender is, um, I would receive answers like male, uh, female, Depending on the poll, they might give the option of other. All right, so we have three choices there. These are different categories. Categories means that you have qualitative type data. All right, next, military rank. All right, if I were to ask people to report their rank, like E1, E2, E3, etc., O1, O2, etc., Right? What I'm doing is I'm asking them to report their ranks so they can compare ranks between the different services. And uh, what I'm seeing here is, oh, I do have a number. There's that one, two, three, right? But what is that number? That number, it's not something I can do math with, right? It is a number that represents the category, right? So this is categorical type data. Once again, qualitative type data. All right, lastly, we have zip code. So if I were to go out and ask people what their zip code is, they would report back to me some sort of five digit numbers. I'm just making up some numbers here. So some five digit numbers that represent their zip code, right? And you say, oh, number, sure. Yeah, that's quantitative type data. That's a quantity, that's a number, All right? But you'd be wrong because remember, this number is not a number that you can do math with, right? It is a number that represents a category, the category being where you live. So this number is, once again, qualitative type data.